Yeah, when I was in Chelmsford Prison, yeah, um, Chelmsford Prison was, was the best prison I've ever been to. And I t when, you talk, when you talk to people like uh, John Duddy, uh, John Duddy uh, was one of the guys who Harry Roberts shot in, uh, in three police officers, ran by the Scrubs prison, yeah. And um, when I talked to him about the craze, and he was saying, Ray, they were no good, mate. They were no good. Harry Roberts could punch them all in the gaff. He said, even two of them in the cell, he'd have smashed them to pieces. He said, because Harry Roberts was a really dangerous man. He could really have it, yeah. And the craze um, were petrified of Harry Roberts. Listen, I'm only telling you what I, what I was told from John Duddy. Um, it's the same thing as uh, what, what uh, someone said in my comments about Dave Courtney, that he's a fantasist. Um, he was only 10 years of age when the craze got put away. He doesn't know nothing about the craze. You know, the only thing he knows about the craze is when he's done the funeral, and that's about it, yeah? He doesn't know nothing about the craze, and he's a fantasist. Well, I'm not sure I can believe that as well, you know what I mean? But anyway, um, you know, when he said to John Dunley about A. Roberts, so he said, A. Roberts, mate, when that, he said, Freddie Foreman uh, was going to get a little firm together and do the craze because they was just getting out of the pram, mate. They was taking liberties, but not only was they taking liberties uh, with, with their own firm, they were taking liberties with young kids, uh, getting young boys and all that. You know, it seems it's mad that people like that have to go and get young kids and take them away and do things with them, yeah? With, with mum's, maybe mum and dad's consent because they're too petrified to, to say no. You know, and I look back and I say to myself, you know, like 1951, uh, what, 1956, 55, 66, and it happened to me as a young kid being sexually abused by people, yeah? And it makes you think, um, you know, it, it just, in them days, it wasn't just, it, it, it just happens, it just happened, it just happened, yeah? And it's, um, it, it ruins people's lives, you know? And when I see a person, you know, that I, that I was in prison with, a uh, little Alan Pounty in uh, Alsby, my Alsby YP, you know, little Alan Pounty, a nice kid, young kid, got a life imprisonment, um, HMP he was doing on Her Majesty's Pleasure, uh, and then, you know, went to, you know, he become too much, stabbing people all the time, and he eventually went to uh, Parkhurst, and uh, one of the craze got hold of him and uh, sexually abused him, and took real, real, real bad liberties with him, you know I mean? Really bad liberties with him. And for me to meet that boy, well, not a boy, a man, you know, I met him in the scrubs years later, uh, a lot of years later, and uh, and I looked at him and I, and I thought, he'd gone. He's still, he was still away then, you know, he'd gone, yeah? And I looked at him and I thought, wow, man, look at you. And I was talking to him, and he's saying, yeah, you can't, because he was in D-Wing. I think I'm not quite sure if I was in D-Wing myself, you know. I can't really remember why I was in C-Wing. I can't really remember. It's, it's such a long, long time ago. But I met Dave on the green. We were talking on the green. And he said, come back to myself. So I must have been, I must have been in D-Wing or I must have been able to get into D-Wing because of, of a long term or whatever it was, yeah. But I remember going to his cell and he had all the craze uh, paraphernalia all over the walls, you know, uh, paintings, uh, letters, love letters, you know, kisses at the bottom, and I miss you, I wish you was here with me, you know, and it's, you think to yourself, these are gangsters. You know, these are gangsters. These are people that people uh, were afraid of, looked up to, and yet they was playing around with little boys, you know, and come on, is, is that on you? And it makes it, it makes it like, you wouldn't be lit, I mean, listen, I've never ever say it. I've never ever say it because it's out of order for me to say that, yeah? But you wouldn't be surprised the amount of people, right? Faces there, yeah, big, big faces, gangsters in prison, the times that I was in prison, early 70s, right the way through to maybe, 20s, yeah, uh, two, 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 eight. Uh, anyway, late, late. The amount of gangsters that I've seen with young kids, with young boys, getting young boys in their cells, 
and getting down boys to the door, they running around for them, making their teas, their coffees, making their beds, making their sandwiches, doing their dinner for them, doing their tea for them, cooking everything for them, running around, getting their puff, running around, getting this, running around, getting that, and, and, and later on, they're doing other things, but you see it. You know, you see when it, when the wedge goes under the door, or, you know, put the wedge, you go to go in the cell, and the wedge is under the door, um, and that's it, and that's it. then you get that really nasty smell out of the cell, you know, that comes down under the door, and you know what exactly what they're doing, yeah? And um, Kevin Lane, Kevin Lane was correct what he said, you know, he said that um, sometimes you, you go in the cell, um, you know, and, and you could smell it, and you could smell uh, what someone's been up to, you know, or someone is up to, you know what I mean? And it's, you think to yourself, it go, it's, it's, this is gangsters. These are people who have got big bits of bird. These are people who have got like, you know, I've, I used to see it on, in Albany, more than enough here. Yeah. I used to see guys um, go on a visit, you know, and about, what, two days before that, they was um, with someone in the cell doing other things to them uh, for X amount for the tobacco and this and there. They are kissing their wives and their kids and they was doing things with guys, yeah? And you make, I used to look at it and I think, oh, this is crazy, man. That, you know, these people are kissing and cuddling their wives and they just can't cope in prison because in the 70s, there was a big recession there, no money around. And guys uh, used to do little guys that had never done armed robberies in their life before. <clears throat> they go out and get money for their wife and their kids. So when they get caught, you know, their kids that with long hair, glasses, or uh, not even long hair and glasses, but young kids, young boys, yeah, they go out and try and get their money for their for their wife and their kids and that sort of thing, yeah. And yet they put them in these big prisons and get sexy bills. They get really abused, and you look at them when they go on a visit with their wife and their kids, and you think to yourself, wow, man, about two days ago, I was knocking on someone's door, and it was a wedge under the door, and this same person was doing things with someone else. Maybe two guys, you know, two, maybe two gangsters that people would really, really know and really give respect, and yet there, there they are doing all sorts of things to young boys. Not young boys. Boys about 22, 21, but they're young boys, isn't it? You know what I mean? And they come in prison for, for they come in prison. Um, you know. Anyway, um, let me uh, finish this now because I'm gonna, later on I'll, I'll do a bigger one. Yeah, and this is bang bang rail. Please press the like button and subscribe. Good morning.